I'm seeing that my move to Gab and Parlor has not been very successful. Many of you have signed up and followed me but you are not coming back to read my posts. Facebook has destroyed the followership I had which was at one time in the thousands. I've learned my lesson. I'm still here on YouTube and that's the only way I can communicate with you, so I have to be careful of the content I post. I will post all videos on Rumble from now on but will be more selective here. It frankly boggles my mind how you can spend 5 years blogging and not build up a followership, but I've managed to do it. Had I done it on another platform other than Facebook, I'm sure I would have been more successful and would not have had to change platforms either. I have not once experienced the creepiness of a Facebook troll since I left that platform. Fine. I still have you here on YouTube. But I'm not done going on about this because it seems I need to point out to you again, the importance of leaving Facebook. All of those telling the truth have been censored off of Facebook as have I been. When I left only about 70 people followed me off to Gab and Parlor, where at one point, before October 17, 2021 I had thousands of followers on Facebook. Facebook cut me off of them, and now I'm left with a few that return occasionally to see my posts. I find myself getting 3 likes on my post, but I find I love Donna because she's always chatting with me on relevant issues. I will not continue to try to work around your preferences. If your preference is Facebook rather than following the people who tell you the truth, I will tell you right now you are making a mistake. If convenience is more important to you than going across the internet to find the news you need, then Facebook has made you either addicted to it or lazy. I am considering making some changes to implant communications this year and one of them I'm considering is to stop posting on social media. However if I want to say something about the storm, and I do, because I find new news on it all the time, I prefer posting it to a site that encourages free speech rather than putting it up on our website, because Google will take my site down. They did my other one already. I am jumping through hoops trying to beat censorship and you guys don't seem to understand. The other thing I'm perplexed about is that you haven't figured out yet who I am. Some of you know I'm an incarnation of Athena, yes the goddess who the capital of Greece is named after. Do you realize that Athena is a direct incarnation of Mother God? Mother God incarnated as Athena during the time she lived on Earth. Well, I am then an indirect incarnation of Mother God by way of Athena, once removed, let's say. Athena speaks always through me. I have been close to attaining Christ consciousness, at times, and then it's taken away again when I have more transmutting to do, but she speaks through me all the time. You can hear when it's Sharon and when it's Athena. I get snippets of wisdom coming through in my posts all the time. Athena doesn't fight losing battles. I will watch to see what the response is on Gab and Parlor and if it doesn't improve, then I will do a rethink of my strategies. I am a communicator by nature, but talking to an empty room doesn't work for me. Other truthers are wondering what happened to their 95,000 followers over Christmas. Well, I've never had that many direct followers. Having 95,000 people line up for your video would be wonderful. But that's all down to censorship. Why are these peas not censored and I am? I'm tired of trying to prove myself to you. I have a handful of dedicated followers but the rest of you are indifferent to who you follow, apparently. That's a bad stance to take. You have to be able to commit to something right now. If it's Facebook rather than the truth, I feel sorry for you. I'm not going to keep on doing this. This is where the rubber hits the road. Either I see change or I'm off social media entirely. I plan on making some changes to implant communications this year. I will be adding a page to our website where you can ask questions of Saint Germain. I'd like to hear more from him but I don't know what to ask him, so I'll let you do that. And these will be questions that pertain to ascension and current times, not personal questions. Also I will be adding a second website with more information. Our website is getting rather full and it would be easier for me to create a second website instead of constantly juggling around pages on this one. No worries. There will be lots of links to the other site. I will also open up our own bookstore, somewhere, to make purchasing PDFs of our books easy. I'm hesitant to put up Ashta's new book on Amazon because I don't want our account rejected due to censorship. I have to say that I'm very disappointed at what happened this year. However Facebook has shown my face to a lot of people, even for a very short time. So many people know of me but few apparently follow me. I'm one person. When I get a staff I can work on developing us in many areas but for now I'm limited as to what I can do. Thank you. Sharon.